All right, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna get into, uh, I would consider an advanced automation, how to navigate automation playlists. What's an automation playlist? All right, so here's my session. And of course, I'm looking at the waveform view on all of these audio tracks. I can easily switch it from waveform to volume automation playlist and I can see any volume automation that may exist on that track and it's easy enough to go over there and change this little menu the playlist view selector back and forth as I need it but as you see this list can grow in length as I add more uh, things to this session and things being plugins or sends my list of automation playlists can grow pretty large and that me uh, menu becomes a little bit more difficult to, to negotiate so there's a couple of shortcuts that I can easily use to, to get to the automation playlist that I want to see. Uh, in this case, I'm looking at waveform. If I want to switch to volume on a Mac, it's control command, click on the volume, and it will take me to the volume. If I want to click on, uh, see the, the pan automation playlist, same shortcut, control command, click on the pan uh, parameter there. And I'm doing this in the edit window. I can do this in the mix window as well, but of course in the edit window, that's where I can actually see that. Now, how do I get back to the waveform view? Same shortcut, control command, click on the track name and it takes you back to the waveform view. This applies to every parameter you can think of, right? So here's a send for my reverb. This is the floating send. And if I com control command click on the send volume fader, it takes me to that playlist. And here it is, send A level. Here's the pan for the uh, send, control command, click on that. And of course, back to the track. Um, waveform view, control command, click on the um, track name. I can do this on a per track basis. I can do it on all tracks, which I often do. I wanna make sure that the automation that I'm writing, especially if I'm in a latch mode and I'm writing multiple tracks, uh, you know, multiple tracks or writing automation on, on a control surface, I wanna make sure that I'm actually writing on all those. So I'm gonna add the option key on a Mac or alt key on a PC, and remember that, uh, modifier applies anything I'm doing to all tracks. So I'll do control option command. So it's control command is the shortcut, add the option key. And now when I click on volume, it puts all the tracks in volume or I'm still holding those same modifiers. Click on pan, there's pan, uh, there's mute back to waveform by clicking on the track name. Now, same thing applies with sends. I'm gonna expand this send view by command clicking on the letter of the send. There's the send level, control, option, command on a Mac or on a PC, and it will take me to the send level across all tracks, right? So I can also do this on selected tracks. Maybe it's only these top I don't know, six tracks that I've got here. One, two, three, four, five, six for the drums. I wanna see, I'm currently looking at the send level. I wanna switch those to the volume automation. So I'm gonna do two shortcuts in one, right? So it's control command, clicking on the parameter that I want to get to the, the playlist that I want. By, but by adding shift and option to it, that's all four modifiers, shift, control, option, and command it will switch just the selected tracks, in this case, these six tracks, to the playlist that I want. So it's a four finger uh, shortcut, right? So here we go. I'm gonna switch on volume, and it switched just these three tracks. Let's take this track height down a little bit so you can see that a little bit better. All right, so here's the top tracks. I'll switch these other tracks back to waveform, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Shift, Control, Option, Command, click on the track name. All these tracks are in waveform view, but these selected tracks, I'm gonna deselect everything, select just the six drums tracks. Shift, Control, Option, Command, I'll go to volume, I'll go to pan, I'll go to mute, um, I'll go to back to track. Now, same thing applies for plugins, right? So I wanna look at the automation I've written on a plugin. Let me bring up my inserts view here. And I've got an EQ plugin. If I wanna get to the uh, automation playlist for any parameter in the plugin, it's control command, same shortcut. And I click on that parameter and now I'm looking at the uh, mid band gain automation playlist. 
and this applies to any of these playlists. I don't have any automation written here. Let's do a little bit here. I'm going to pencil it in for the sake of argument. So that is high band gain. I'll go to mid frequency gain and I'll go to high mid frequency gain and I'll just write some three, three different sorts of automation. Control command on any one of those parameters will take me to that automation playlist. And if I want to get back to volume or the waveform for this track, control command click on the track. So that's a shortcut that I use quite often. I want to make sure that when I am writing automation on a on a, a parameter that I think I am, that I can actually visually verify that as well. Hope this helps.